vaulting is where we use gymnastics on the horse. People vault all over the world and there's lots of competitions about. Aha! Especially in vault and also in trick ride. Oh, we nearly had a fall. I didn't mean to land like that. I landed on my feet but then landed on my back. today ready we're going to be doing some vaulting today with the kiddies so the children will be doing some uh, tricks and backflips off fallow and just having fun so this is just like a stretch for fallow to warm her up make sure she's nice and loose so she doesn't injure herself and she's a very good girl fallow so she's had a nice brush let's get her gear on her what is vaulting for people who aren't familiar with the term so vaulting is where we use gymnastics on the horse so vaulting's a bit of, um, it's like a dance, it's quite nice and stuff. So the horse goes round, you go on top and you do some really nice little moves on her and the kids are very gentle with her, they're very good. And we just get in loads of gymnastic positions and just have fun. People vault all over the world and there's lots of competitions about, mainly in Europe really, there's a lot more competitions about, but I think still in this country we're getting there with more vaulting competitions and things like that. So people are starting to really enjoy it now. Probably a Frisian though, is not normally a vaulting horse because of their paces, she's quite bouncy, she's got long strides. So typically you wouldn't use a Frisian as a vaulting horse, but we use an urge. I mean, Fallow's like our all-rounder horse. We just love to have fun with her. We spend a lot of time with her. She's eight years old. She does vaulting, trick riding, archery, um, stunt work. She does all sorts of stuff. What would be a good breed to start vaulting with? Probably like a, you'd need like a 16, 17 hand horse really, like a thoroughbred or something. Something that's got nice collective paces. And so a lot of the time, if you went to watch vaulting on television, you'd see the people on top of the horse and the horse doesn't look like it's moving and it's effortless and they've got one pace. Whereas Fallow is like quite stridey and quite long. So it's a little bit more difficult, but like I said, we don't do it professionally. We just do it for fun. And this is what we're going to show you today. Aha. So what we're aiming to do yeah. is we want these to come all the way over here, go into there and go back underneath to be done up. Okay. Yeah. Put it through these loops here. These ones? Yep. Yeah. Roll them through the rollers. That's it. And then pull them tight. Yeah. Ah. Oh, i tell you what actually guys, I forgot. Have we taken it down this side? That might be why Aaron's struggling. So what we're doing at the moment is we're just going to warm her up. Um, you always need to make sure that you warm them up in vaulting, just to get her movements, let her relax her neck for a bit. Because in a minute we're going to put the side reins on as well, which helps her neck come down, which makes her back a little bit longer and straighter for the kiddies to have a little go at vaulting on her. So we like to just keep her nice and relaxed, let her have her head, let her have a nice stretch, warm up her body, a little bit of walk, trot and canter, and then we shall get the kiddies on. So what have you got in your hand? Lunge whip and lunge line. Um, what we do with that is, in order to vault, the horse will watch me and keep um, the rhythm and pace to what I'm asking her to do so that the vaulter can concentrate on just doing their gymnastics on top of the horse. So I've got control of fallow and Harvey gets to do his uh, thing on top. Don't you Harvey? Yes. You excited? No. <laughs> <laughs>
This speed is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Wait until it gets into a trot. So the reason why we don't wear hats um, on the horses, riding hats, especially in vault and also in trick riding, when we're doing the tricks, because we're so close to the equipment, if our strap gets caught in it, it can actually rip your head off and break your neck. So actually it's more dangerous when we do vaults and when we do trick riding to wear a hat. That's the only reason we don't. When you ride your horses normally, highly recommend, obviously always wear a hat. So the vault, that's what you want. So you want to be in rhythm with the horse while you're doing it. So flex feet and the horse's feet are both going together. I managed to catch earlier, Blake. I caught you front flipping and landing flat on the ground. <laughs> that was funny. I didn't mean to land like that. I landed on my feet, but then landed on my back. Thank you. 